Greetings everyone, this is Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and a little bit different. Today I'm doing a collage, well a baseball type scene. I kind of called this home plate, but the original home plate uh, was very popular and it sold so I was very very happy and then I decided you know this was a project that was so well liked maybe I should do it again and this time use a different hat. The hat on the first one was a Dodgers with a big D on it. This time I made it a 49ers hat with a big SF on the hat and so I started with the photograph that I took earlier and just changed the hat and here I'm starting with the um, background of course you can see I'm dragging out pieces of paper from magazines and calendars and even some flyers and circulars and catalogs. <laughs> I'll use anything if it's got the right thickness and texture. And I just tear them into little pieces and glue them on. I'm looking for just the right colors and values and um, trying to make a three-dimensional project out of flat two-dimensional pieces of paper. <laughs> That's the fun of it. So what I've got going on here is just a... Well, I think I want it just to look rather like a sand lot where we've got some a couple of baseball bats, a couple of balls, and a cardboard box for the home plate and of course the mitts and the 49ers hat. My aunt and uncle are avid 49ers fans. I think so much so that they got that license plate on their car. It says uh, 49ers or 49er lover or something like that. I know very little about baseball. I played a little, I guess, um, in grammar school but I've never been very athletically inclined. Art's my thing. <laughs> so here I'm putting the shadows in first using some dark grays that I found. In the original collage I used some uh, purpley blues. But this time I just used a, a, a blue gray. Just working on the background here to start and then I'll start on the on the important foreground stuff. Need shadows under the balls, of course. Shadows under the bat, shadows under the hat. So I'm putting in these nice dark shadows to start. Kind of helps me see the three-dimensional qualities. And I'm trying to tear everything, but in some places I'm going to cut the paper. Tearing it leaves a, a ragged edge, white edge, more like a halo. And um, in some places it looks great, and in some places it looks terrible to have that ragged edge. Here I'm putting in my cardboard home plate. Looks like I skipped some. I must have worked when the camera went off putting in the reds of the hat. And some of that glove. Finding just the right colors is always a challenge. I wanted the the mitt on the right to have a warm brown look and the mitt on the left to have a more of a yellow, um, almost greenish brown look.
And now for the balls. Sure, they're white, but nothing white is actually white. There are shadows, which I used a purple and a blue to create, and they were a bit on the dirty side being used, so they need to have a little bit of a brownish cast. The red lacings was really a challenge too because I had to make the, the threads really small, cut out of red. And here I'm putting in the colors for the bat behind the balls. We were supposed to expect a big thunder shower to come today, and I think it's passed us by. Not that I'm complaining. And now for the little red lacings on the balls. You can see tiny little red pieces of paper. I'm gluing them on one at a time. and using a um, pair of tweezers to do it. As you can see, this took many hours to do. And finally, here we are. This is the first one, the one with the Dodgers hat. And now for the new one. I think I like the new one. The red really works for me. I think the, the reds and the the oranges really pop, so it's got a completely different feel. Thanks so much for watching. I so appreciate everyone coming and seeing me and uh, seeing what I do. Do subscribe and hit the like button. Come again. <laughs>